All right, YouTube 116 Falconer. Um, <clears throat> today what I got here is a uh, HP laptop. It's the uh, 15G series. It's a 15G029WM that has been dropped and it broke both halves of the case. All right, so I got to go eBaying to, uh, to find the proper parts so I can gut it, put it all in a new case. But I thought what I'd do is do a few videos off of this. Um, there's not a lot online about this, you know, 029 model, but it turns out that it's, uh, um, I don't know, they got like 8,000 variations of this freaking, of this freaking laptop. But you can see here how it's busted, this is all busted up. The hinge is broke here. I was going to break out my Bondix welder and try welding the bottom, but there's just too many parts broken in there, so. And you can get the, you can get the bottom half of the case for, you know, 15, 20 dollars, the upper part, same price, so. Um, so anyways, first thing I'm going to do is do a, uh, uh, remove the keyboard and DVD drive the dvd rom okay that's gonna be a video then i'll yeah, yeah oh and if you're looking for the part number on this thing you know like for the case you have to remove all of this because the part number is right underneath here so um you know to make sure if you buy a new case it's gonna work but as far as removing the keyboard and the dvd rom it's a very simple process it's um you have for the keyboard you have to remove this little phillips head in there and then this phillips head right here that's all you gotta do. All right, take these two out, and you might want to have a little magnet or something because uh, you know the holes are kind of deep. So if your screwdriver doesn't have a magnetic tip, you know they're not gonna come out when you flip it over. Um, your screws are gonna go flying. See, neither one came out. I got a little weak magnet here. I don't know if it'll be strong enough to pull that out. Nope. All right, so I'm gonna flip her over here. Um, I should get my stinking tripod. Well, try to flip it over real fast. All right, so bam, two screws out. So now, if your keyboard is the only problem, which believe me, I know they go bad. I can't. I just can't believe how, how crappy they make these new cheap laptops. <laughs> They're really freaking garbage. Um, you just take them out, then you get yourself a little edge here, and just get down in between the actual keyboard and the um, the housing, and just start popping her out. Um, it's really quite a, quite a easy, easy job here. Just pull it out, and then you just have your ribbon cable right there. That all you gotta do is flick this up, pull your cable out, bam, keyboard done. Alright, simple as that. Putting it back in, it's just the opposite. You just, uh, Stick your ribbon cable in here. Close her up. Get her down in there. And a little, yeah, we'll do the bottom, we'll go bottom first. Nice, right, so we get the bottom in. And just start snapping her in. So that's your uh, keyboard, in, out, no fuss, no muss. Well, you should probably also take the battery out, which I didn't do, but she shut off, but, you know, battery removal is uh, no big deal. Come on. I think. <laughs> now let me, there we go. All right, that's good. So you got that. You got your keyboard back in. You're happy with it. Um, yeah, let me put the screws back in so I don't lose them. There's one, two... Now, if you want to do your uh, DVD drive, your DVD ROM. Oh, you know what? I gotta put some pressure. No, there we go. All right, good. All right, so if you want to do your DVD ROM, if you're looking at the top of the laptop, like here. All right, you just uh, take out this particular screw here. Which you'll have to take this out to crack the whole case anyways. Just take that one screw out, get something in here, she just slides out like that. All right, easy peasy. Hard drives underneath there, you gotta take it all apart to get the hard drive, I'll do that next, but. So that's that for now. DVD, ROM, and, uh, and keyboard. Simple as, simple as that. So, uh, I'll be back with the rest of the video. All right, there, see ya, bitches.